Hello, in this video we're going to look at the envelope theorem using a gentle introduction. So the motivation. So we got this function y and our goal is to examine how a small change in the parameter a affects the maximum value of y and the maximum value of y is going to be denoted here as y star. So we're going to first go through a tedious method Let's find the change in y star from a small change in parameter a when, let's say, a equals 10. I could have started with another value, but a equals 10 is good as any. So when a is 10, we make our substitution into our objective function, and we get the following. We're going to take the derivative of that result, and we're going to set it equal to 0, trying to find the maximum value. Solving for x, the optimal value of x, x star, is going to be 20. And then evaluating our objective function at 20, we get 810. So when a equals 10, the optimal value of x is 20, and y star, the maximum value of y, is 810. Now let a equal 11. So we're going to have a small increase in the parameter a, it's going from 10 to 11. How does this affect the maximum value of y? So here again is our function, just substituting 11 in for a. We get this result, taking the derivative with respect to x, setting it equal to 0. 88 divided by 4 is 22, so the optimal value of x is 22. Plugging 22 into our objective function up here, y star, the maximum value of y, is now 979. So when parameter a increased from 10 to 11, the maximum value of y increased from 810 to 979, 169-unit increase. And we could repeat this exercise to see, well, now what happens if a equals 12? How much would y increase by? And you can see this is kind of tedious. So let's look to the envelope theorem as a shortcut solution. So first, uh, the formal idea definition of the envelope theorem. So the effect on y star, the maximum value y, sometimes called the maximum value function or indirect objective function. So the effect on y star from a small change in parameter a going to denote it as this, just the derivative of the maximum value function with respect to a. So that's what we're trying to find. That's our goal. It's going to be calculated by taking the partial derivative of the objective function with, with respect to parameter a. So just taking the partial derivative of our objective function with respect to parameter a, and then the key point here, evaluating that partial derivative result by holding x at its optimal value x star. So we're going to hold x constant at its optimal value of x star. So the maximum value function can change from a change in parameter a directly and indirectly by causing also a change in x. So this seems kind of complicated, but the envelope theorem states that for small changes in parameter a that it's the direct effect that matters. So in notation, the envelope theorem states the following, that the change in the maximum value function from a small change in A can be calculated as taking the partial derivative of the objective function with respect to A and just evaluating that partial derivative result at the optimal value of x, or x star. So let me show you this mathematically. So here is our objective function. Step one is we're going to first solve for x star, the optimal value of x, as a function of the parameter a. So taking the derivative of that objective function with respect to x, we get this result right here, setting that result equal to zero, and then solving for x. So the optimal value of x star will equal 2a. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to take the partial derivative of the objective function right here, now with respect to a. 
So the partial derivative of a is 1. Partial derivative of 8ax is just 8x. And now where we have this x, we're going to plug in our result down here, x star. So making that substitution, this is what the envelope theorem then tells us, that the change in the maximum value of y star from a small change in a will equal the following. So plugging in x here, plugging in for 2a, it's going to equal 1 plus 16a. So, for example, if a equals 10, then a small increase in parameter a causes y star to increase by 161. If a equals 20, then a small increase in parameter a around this area where a equals 20 causes y star to increase by, so just evaluating this function up here, when a is 20, we get roughly a 321 unit increase in the maximum value of y. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.